educators across the country from each level of the system, federal, state, district, school, and community have taken decisive action in an attempt to support student social, emotional, and academic well-being in an equitable way. State leaders have a unique position in creating and implementing policies and practices that have the potential to influence thousands or even millions of children. They've created innovative approaches to support adults and students given the need for SEL is at an all-time high. Kessel recently reviewed the state COVID-19 response plans and identified five key SEL recommendations that states should consider as they continue to develop and refine their plans for schools to reopen in the fall. First, communicate SEL is important for all students and adults. We know what state leaders communicate is important as they help define and shape priorities. State leaders have used social media, websites, and newsletters to communicate the importance of SEL right now, to lead with compassion and kindness, and to heal together as a community, particularly for those who are the most vulnerable and have been disenfranchised. Second, define and distinguish SEL and mental health supports. All of us have experienced a pandemic differently. We all need relationships, healing, and empathy, core to SEL. And others need more intensive mental health support, depending upon their unique experience, environments, and assets. States are providing resources to districts and schools to help provide tiered supports to students and staff, depending upon their unique experiences. Third, disseminate SEL practices in time of a pandemic. Students, educators, and families need opportunities to stay connected, form meaningful relationships, process their emotions, and manage themselves and their anxieties. States are working tirelessly to provide strategies, lessons, and activities to fully engage in SEL and center relationships and well-being. Provide professional learning and support for adult SEL competencies, capacities, and wellness. Adults also need support during the pandemic. They need support to develop their capacities for SEL implementation and distance learning and support on their own competencies and well-being. States have put staff well-being and professional learning in their plans, providing adults opportunities to connect with their colleagues, take care of themselves, and be involved in the conditions that allow them to thrive individually and with their students. And finally, leverage data for continuous improvement. We know that educators need to understand where students are academically, but we also need to put healing and relationships front and center. States are asking students, families, and educators about their experiences, their feelings, and what their needs are. It is important to collect all forms of data in a way that maintains trust, safety, and support. To learn more about state SEL policies and practices, visit CASEL's Collaborating States Initiative webpage. <laughs>